Okay? So here's our reaction. We want to find, in this question, the moles of Cl2 at equilibrium. By saying that, they're saying that these initial values are not equilibrium. So that's just an indirect way of saying that. And you could know this immediately looking at this, that it's not at equilibrium. Does anybody know why it's not at equilibrium? It cannot be. It's impossible. Even if they didn't tell us, it's impossible. There's a zero here. Yeah. If it's equilibrium and there's a K, there's got to be uh, amounts on each side. Okay? It cannot be, if you have a zero as an initial value, it is not at equilibrium. Unless your K is either infinity or zero. That's the only way uh, that it's at equilibrium. Why is it zero? Why is it zero? It's given. They give us a value here, this is given, and this is given. And the I here is just initial, meaning where we're starting uh, as we enter the problem. Okay, so what we want is the value, specifically this value, at equilibrium. To do this problem, first, we're going to work in with K, remember that's molarity. These are all in moles. Again, that's given in moles. So we got to divide everything by this number, the 3.050. Same here, but it's going to be zero again. Okay? So I'm going to rewrite these all in molarity. You're going to see some questions in the text, they don't do that. I just think it's always safer to rewrite everything in molarity. That way you won't make a mistake. Okay? So everything in your uh, K calculation should be in molarity. In the answer key, you're going to see they left it in moles. I just think that's a little dangerous to do. You can do that. Sometimes it's not going to work. It'll usually work in this chapter, but not in the acid-base chapters later. Okay? So, change it to moles. They didn't do that in the answer key, but you can do that here. Now, as your next line, we want to do what's called change. Okay? C for change. I for initial. This is change is related to Q. I'll put a little Q in parentheses down here. Q in this problem is what? There's products over reactants. It's just like K, but it's the initial value. So this value divided by the multiplication of these two. So that would be what? Invalid. Invalid, we'll just say for fun, infinity, though your math professor will hate that. This, as this goes to zero, it becomes more and more infinite. It's an undefined number. Okay? So, if this is too big, it's a lot bigger than K, this has to shift to what direction? Well, for this to get smaller, I need more reactants. Is that okay? So it has to shift towards the reactants or to the left. So I'll put the shift down here. So when Q, if you want to write it this way, when Q is bigger than K, it shifts to the reactants. When Q is bigger than K, it shifts towards the reactants. Okay, so in the change category, the problem is we don't know how much change occurs. It could be five moles shifting this way, or one mole, or a tenth of a mole. Because we don't know that value, we label that as X. Okay. So you put X in all categories. This, you're going to lose some amount of X in the products because it's shifting to the left. Okay. And you're going to gain in both of the reactants because, again, it's shifting to the left towards the reactants. If it shifted to the right, not in this problem, but if it did, this would be positive and these would be negative if it shifted to the right. You're going to do, be doing this a lot, a lot. Your final column that I'm going to make in this table, it, I'm, we call it E for equilibrium. Thus, these are going to be called the ice tables. So E is the initial plus the change. I plus C equals E. Okay? So we're just going to add them up. 0 0.35 over 3.05 plus X. 
Okay, so I've just added i and c. The next column is 0 plus x, or just x. And in the third spot, it's this number, 0 0.055 over 3.05 minus x. Is that okay so far? This, if you knew what x was, your answer is right here. They want to know the concentration or the moles of Cl2. This is actually going to be the molarity of Cl2 at equilibrium. This is the equilibrium line. So you have to use a table like this if they ever ask you about equilibrium. 